everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing an autumn inspired makeup tutorial which you could wear every day. It's such a natural look. If you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm just going to start by tying my hair up. I can never do my makeup with my hair down. At this point I have already cleansed and toned my skin as well as moisturised and I've also applied my Arbor makeup primer. So I'm just going to go in under my eyes to cover any dark circles along the top of my nose and my forehead with the Maybelline Eye Eraser and I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty sponge. Once that's all blended, I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix in the shade NW20. I didn't want to wear any liquid foundation for this look, just because I wanted it to be a bit more natural. And I didn't want it to seem too cakey at all. Now I'm going to be using my 17 Define & Contour Contour Kit. And I'm just going to start by using the darker shade, and I'm going to apply this in a figure of three around my face. So that's going to be under my cheekbones, on the tops of my forehead, and also just on my jawline. I'm now just going to pinch the end of my brush just to make it that tiny bit smaller and go along the edges of my nose as well. Once that's done I'm then going to go in with the lighter shade and pretty much just put this on the other areas where I didn't put the darker shade so that would be under my eyes, on my forehead, along the bottom of my jawline and a little bit on my cupid's bow and chin. This is just going to highlight those areas. I'm then just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to make sure that's all blended out evenly. I'm then going to move on to my eyebrows and for this I'm using the Brow Stack Brow Kit by Seventeen. I'm going to start with the pencil that's included in the kit just to fill in any gaps. I'm then going to move on to the wax just to make sure that all my brows stay in place. I'm then going to move on with the powder that's also included in the kit. I'm then going to move on to my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Revolution Redemption palette and I'm just going to apply the lightest shade all over my eyelid to use as a base. This palette I believe is called Romantic Smoked. If I can find it I will definitely link it down below for you. I'm then going to be moving on to a Kiko eyeshadow. I just recently found these eyeshadows and I absolutely love them. This one's in the shade 91 and I'm just going to apply this all over the crease. I'm then going to move on to another Kiko eyeshadow and this is in the shade 44 and I'm just going to use this to add a bit of warmth to the crease. I'm then going to be using a NYX eyeshadow in the shade Dark Brown, this is also called 06. And I'm just going to apply this in the crease and in the corners of my eyes. I'm then going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm just going to take the Dark Brown shade again by NYX and just apply this under my eye. I'm also just going to take this back up into my crease slightly, just to make that a little bit darker. I'm then just going to go back in with my blending brush and make sure that that is all blended out. Here I'm using a brown eyeliner pencil from Primark. Um, it doesn't actually have a shade, but you can buy it in a pack of two. You get a brown and a grey, and I think it was like a pound for both of them. So I'm just going to apply this along the bottom of my waterline in the corners, and then along the whole of the top of the waterline. 
like. I'm then going to go in with the Rimmel Wonderful Mascara. Um, this is actually running out, so it's not actually working very well, but I'm just going to apply a generous amount to both my top and bottom lashes. I'm now going to use a lip pencil that I also got from Primark. I think this is just in the shade brown. I've definitely seen it in there since purchasing it, so it should still be available to buy. Now the lipstick that I'm just about to use, I don't think you'll actually be able to get it anymore, but it's in this really nice brown shade and if I can find anything similar I'll definitely link it below. I'm then going to use this amazing highlighter by MUA, it's in the shade Iridescent Gold and I absolutely love it. I think this highlighter is about £3 and I've had so many compliments on it. So I'm just applying this to the tops of my cheeks as well as a little bit on my nose and my cupid's bow. I'm then just going to finish off my face by using the Max Fix Plus Spray. I absolutely love this stuff and I really do find it helps keep your makeup on. So that is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to be notified about future videos. And if there's any other makeup looks you'd like me to do, then please do let me know.